business or are you running a business? Valuation is the ultimate KPI. Hey there, welcome to another episode of the Modern Financial Advisor podcast brought to you by Truelytics. My name is Mike Lankford and I'm the host of the show. And, you know, normally I open up this podcast with a, what can only be described as a super high level of energy. I'm kind of wired that way. Uh, I'm wired to be a positive, optimistic person, always thinking the future is going to be better than the present and and always usually looking at the present as much better than the past when you take everything into account. Uh, and I don't think that's changed, but I do uh, understand that most of us are operating currently with the COVID-19 pandemic and, and all of the adjustments to our lifestyle and what we're seeing happening in the markets and elsewhere, uh, all those things taken in uh, in their totality, most of us are living in a current environment of being very concerned. Uh, some people are at a, at a level of very high level of anxiety um, and worry. So I'm not uh, immune to seeing that. And, and frankly, I'm not immune to feeling some of that. And, and I know you are as well. So uh, I, I'll... I temper the energy, I guess, appropriately, I think, for the tenor of the show going forward, especially while we're living through this. Uh, but in my, my view is that doesn't mean that we don't have a job to do. And I mean we, meaning you, me, and, and everyone on your team, that we don't have a job to do. And a part of our job when our clients or, or uh, if you're a wealth management leader at a broker dealer, RIA or a wirehouse, uh, that we have a responsibility to lead and offer comfort to those who look to us. Uh, and so my job is to offer that to you. Uh, again, whether you're an individual advisor, you are a team member at an advisory firm, or you are uh, an executive at a wealth management firm or a practice management professional, my job here is to bring some leadership to you. Uh, and to offer you comfort and to offer you some things you could do, frankly, to uh, serve your, again, advisors, team members, the end clients a little bit better during this time. Because I, I get it. There, there's a lot of just, frankly, craziness, right? There's just so many moving parts. Uh, there's a lot of negativity and we're, we're all feeling it. So I'm going to do my best. Uh, and I hope that you take this. And, and you turn this into some positive things or some things that you can do and offer that same level of leadership and comfort to your audience as you see fit. So, you know, one thing that's really uh, exciting that I've seen, uh, particularly with Truelytics, is that we happen to have a new release uh, called True Continuity that could not have been timed more perfectly for uh, what we're experiencing right now. Right now, people are very worried, not only about the markets and what it's doing economically, but there's there's a worry about like what happens if something happens to me, what happens to my family, what happens to my business, what happens to my clients. And the new module, True Continuity, uh, available for free for all Truelytics customers, is an emergency continuity solution that when invoked, it allows you to put all of your continuity plans and, and important information about documents and team members and information about your clients into this electronic secure vault that if something were to happen to you or an individual advisor on your team, whether that's a untimely death, disability, or other major business disruption, uh, this vault can be unlocked and an emergency continuity partner who's been designated ahead of time and given permission can go into the vault, access all the documents, access everything they need in order to make sure the business continues and clients are continued to be serviced uh, in a way uh, that is necessary. And, and that this is something to me, I think is incredibly timely and very much in need. And so we're gonna talk a little bit about that more in this episode, but I just wanted to tee that up at the beginning. So. Let's dive in a little bit. Uh, as I said, in, in times of crisis and heightened anxiety, people are looking for leadership. They are looking for comfort, right? And there's a couple of things we can do here or, or several things we can do, but they bucket down into some, uh, number one, demonstrate leadership. People need to look and see somebody who they feel like knows what they're doing, right? That they're there uh, and, and they got this, if you will. Right? They need somebody to follow. And we all feel that way at certain times. So the number one rule that I see 
frankly, is to project calmness. You got to look like you're, you're calm, right? Uh, the last thing your clients and your team need at this moment is doom and gloom from you. Now, that doesn't mean you are unconcerned or, or you're not worried or you're not having some of your own personal anxieties. But your clients and your team members uh, can't be the dumping ground for that, right? Uh, it, most of us, I would assume, have seen the movie Saving Private Ryan. And if you haven't, it's an amazing movie. Uh, very well worth your time if you have not uh, taken the time to see that yet. But in the movie, there's a scene in which the soldiers are walking through a field. Uh, the, the general notion of the movie is there's this private Ryan, uh, played by Matt Damon, who's had uh, several of his brothers have been killed in the war. And there was a rule during World War II where if there were several brothers, you, you couldn't lose all of your, they wouldn't allow you to lose all of your siblings. So they were going to go get this private Ryan and send him home so his family would not lose all of their sons. So kind of just general encapsulating. So they're walking through this field and it's war, right? It's like D-Day. We're right after D-Day, they're landing at Normandy Beach and Omaha Beach and all that type of stuff. Uh, so it's, they're walking through this field and one of the soldiers, played by Ed Burns, his name is, in the movie, it's Private uh, Rybin. He asks Captain Miller, who's played by Tom Hanks, hey, Captain, you know, don't you ever complain? Don't you gripe? You know, and Captain Miller replies, not to you, Rybin. Gripes go up, not down. That's a really important leadership lesson, right? Complain up. Don't complain down down to your subordinates. And if you're an individual advisor, complain up to your broker dealer, complain up to your senior advisor, if you're a junior advisor, right? Uh, don't complain and, and overly throw all of your fears and anxieties down to your clients. If you're a leader, don't throw them down to your, your, your support staff, right? Make sure that you're projecting an era uh, of calm. It's a really important thing. I'll actually put the uh, the scene from from Private Ryan there uh, on the on the show notes. A little a link to that 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 uh, YouTube clip of it. But I think it's a really important thing, and 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 I think we can all do a really good job of making sure that we're doing that, projecting calmness to uh, to everybody around us as best we can. Number two, take proactive action steps. Right. Listen, you can't make the markets go up and you can't make COVID-19 go away. You can do your part by, you know, staying calm, by, by not uh, overly crazily selling stuff. And, 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 and you can definitely practice social distancing and stay at home as best you can, right? All that stuff's important, but you're not going to necessarily move the markets and you're not going to make COVID-19 go away, of course. Uh, but that doesn't mean there's nothing you can do, right? You, don't, you actually have some action steps. Number one is create your emergency continuity plan. And I'm not just saying that because Trulytics has true continuity. Uh, this is one of the most important things you can do for your clients right now. It's one of the most, if you're an executive at a wealth management firm or a practice management professional, it's one of the most important things you can do for your advisor population right now is to give them some action. Show that you're taking proactive action and making this available to all of your advisors. Uh, if you're an advisor, let your clients know, here's what I am doing, right? So as, as I mentioned, Trulytics has made the product free. So there's no excuses. It's, it's not, doesn't cost you anything incremental if you're a Trulytics user. Uh, if you're not a Trulytics user, a customer yet, uh, there, there's some discounts available if you're an independent uh, or individual advisor. Uh, and then if you're kind of starting to think about rolling it out, now's the time, right? Because we're being told by the you know, CDC and, 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 and disease uh, scientific community all around the world that uh, this could be a little frightening for older populations, uh, those who are 60 and older. And we know that the advisor population, uh, currently in the United States at least, 40% of financial advisors are 60 plus. So it's particularly scary for that demographic. So one of the most prudent and proactive action steps that any of us could take right now is to make sure we have an emergency continuity plan in place. And true continuity makes that really, really easy. Um, and what I've experienced, and I know that many of the team members at Trulytics have talked about is when advisors actually go through the process of uh, succession planning and emergency continuity plan, 
they find themselves feeling a lot more calm and, and relaxed and, and more certain about their business. And, you know, one of the side benefits of it is that it forces you to think about your business a little more and think about what happens in the future. They'll look at every element of your business and ask questions. Is this necessary? Does this work right? And all that type of stuff goes into it. Uh, who are the people I trust most, right? Where is all these little elements? What would it, if somebody had to step into my business in an emergency fashion, how would they do that? And most of us have never thought about that too much. So it's a really good process to go through. Also on a, you know, from a marketing or a customer service perspective for your end clients, talk about making them feel good that they have chosen the right advisor. If they get a message from you saying, hey, just so you know, I know you're probably experiencing some anxiety, but we've taken some pro proactive steps here. We have an emergency continuity plan. So if anything happens to me, here's who you can expect to hear from. And they've got it covered. They've got a plan, detailed action steps that they can take. Also, if you're a business owner, I can, I'm certainly, you know, happy to sit with you uh, virtually, of course, and talk you through some of the steps that we took to ensure emergency continuity. Maybe you might benefit from them in your uh, business as well. So I'm sure your clients would appreciate that. Okay, next step, make sure your clients or advisors, depending upon, you know, if you're, again, wealth management firm, uh, make sure your clients or advisors see you, right? We take for granted uh, uh, that people see us or know that we're there. They just kind of, we just assume that people know we're there. But in a time of crisis, leaders must be seen and heard from to be effective, right? It can't be a black box where they just, and they're just assuming that everything is okay on your front. So make sure you're consistently sharing information or projecting yourself out into the world. And it doesn't mean you have to come on and talk about COVID-19 every day, right? That's not necessary. You could do some really simple things to let people know you're there and again, project calm, project leadership. So as an example, share your home office setup. Show people, hey, I'm working from home. Here's what it looks like. It can be a photo, it can be a video, it could be a podcast like this, but people are hearing your voice. They're seeing pictures, they're seeing videos, whatever. Hey, my advisor's there. Hey, the leadership team of my broker dealer is letting me know that they're okay and they're still actually working even though... Uh, Things are kind of up in the air right now and a little crazy. So that projects leadership and confidence and calm uh, to people's mind. Do some silly stuff, non-business stuff as well, like what's on the menu. We always joke about, you know, uh, and I've been in this business for a long time, talking about marketing and, and, and social media for financial services. And I have heard literally thousands of times, I don't care what you've had for lunch when people talk about social media, whether it's Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. But the reality is people do now, right? They actually care because, uh, you know, their, their uh, menus have been altered dramatically, right? If you've been to the grocery store at all, uh, the shelves are just wiped. Uh, some people are hoarding stuff and some people are really starting to wrestle with the notion that like, oh man, I'm going to have to get creative here with what's in the cupboard in the fridge. I don't know when their grocery store is going to stock up on my favorite whatever food. And I don't know when I'm ever going to go to a restaurant again. And, uh, you know, most of us, go to the restaurant a couple of times a week, especially on the weekends with our family. So suddenly life's a little different. So don't be afraid to share with your clients, your advisor population, whatever it is, some of the stuff you're eating, some of the recipes you have. Uh, it's fun stuff, right? We, my wife shared a batch of chocolate chip cookies she was making. Uh, I shared one of the my favorite beers that I have that kind of like is a special beer that I don't usually drink. And I shared that with my audience, like breaking out the good stuff, right? So there's... There's little things you can do. It makes people feel like life is going on, but it also inspires them. And that's part of your job as a, as a leader, as an advisor, is to inspire and particularly, again, help them see that the future is, is, is still going to be okay. So let's, let's make sure we do a little bit of that. I would also say share some uplifting stories, right? This, man, you go on the on every major news outlet and it's a lot of doom and gloom and there's going to be a lot of doom and gloom in social media as well, but it doesn't all have to be doom and gloom. Have you seen something inspiring? Have you seen something interesting? Have you done something uh, like a creative thing at home that, that you're taking up, you're learning the guitar, painting again, you're whatever it is that you're doing, share some of that type of good news, if you will, 
uh, to uplift the spirits of people, to let them know that this is why we're still in this together. Remember, the role of a financial advisor is to plan for the future, right? To help people see that I can manage my financial life and achieve my life goals. People still have life goals. So they need to see that there's some uplifting stuff, right? So uh, make sure you're sharing some good stuff. So let them see you. Okay, going to the offering comfort front. So the second major category here. Uh, this is, and this one's easy to do, but you have to work a little harder at it to make sure it's effective. And that is ask people how they're holding up. Now, look, this is different than the routine, how you doing? right? Because we all, or, or the how are things, we all do that, right? You see somebody, hey, how are you? Oh, how are things? How you been? We've done that. And the answer is always, oh, things are good. Okay. Oh yeah, they're great. We all say that, don't we? Right? But that's not always true. We know that's not always true. There are times where somebody will say, oh, they're going good. And somebody has a crisis at home. They have they have some things going on in their their marriage, their business, their uh, their kids not doing well in school, their, whatever the thing is. People have problems, but usually we're taught not to dump our problems on somebody else. This is an instance in which I think it's incredibly important, and I hope you agree, that we actually check up on people and ask them how they're holding up uh, and take it a little bit of a step further, right? So let's go a little deeper on that question to see if we can sense how they're doing. Uh, for you as an advisor, this is really important, right? You're trying to assess people's risk tolerance. Right now, they're experiencing risk, right? So uh, you're trying to assess, are they adjusting their goals? Where are they? Knowing your client really deeply is really important. And I would say that's true for uh, the practice management professional or the uh, the executive at a wealth management firm as well. Uh, ask the next level question. How are the kids adjusting to right now? Like, get specific with your question. Um, what are you guys doing to pass the time? You know, uh, you know. Obviously, you're working during the day from home. How are you adjusting to that? What's it like working from home? Are you you got is your setup okay there? Are you working? Do you have a dedicated home office? Are you you know, working on the dining room table, or you got a little setup in your bedroom. How how are you adjusting to what's happening now? Uh, ask them have they have they checked in with family? Do they have extended family? Is mom and dad living somewhere else, or their kids living somewhere else? How are you managing communication with family that's a uh, at at a distance? Good questions to get people talking a little more deeply about how they're doing. That shows you care, uh, and and it helps them kind of process some of this. It doesn't mean you're a psychologist, of course, you're not a, a mental health professional, but showing that you care by kind of going more than the surface level, oh, how are you doing? Everybody's going to say, okay, right? Let's go a little deeper. Uh, this is a good one. And this is my favorite one right now. Ask people how you can help, right? Again, different than the typical question we, we often ask people. You know, we, we often offer, hey, let me know if there's anything I can do for you. It's just an off-the-cuff throwaway line that most of us use with the, you never expect somebody to take you up on that. If I say, hey, let me know if there's anything I can do for you, I would almost be shocked if you said, hey, Mike, actually, there's something you can do for me, right? If oh, crap. All right. Yeah. <laughs> now, I run this event every year at South by Southwest. And as you know, South by was canceled. And our event was actually a very small group of people. We still kind of pushed on. We practiced social distancing and so forth. But... Um, I always tell people who come to the event to have an ask, to have something they want from the people they meet. If they're presenting at the event, I have them, I tell the startup team to have an ask of the audience. Like everybody's here to see you tell them what you want from them. Well, in this case is a little reversed. See if there's something you can do for somebody. If there's something they need, probe a little deeper. So I have a couple of ideas for you. And this can help you with your communication with your clients as well, I think. Many of your clients are probably a little on the older side. Uh, again, if the average age of an advisor is 60 plus, uh, many of their clients are 60 plus. So if you're managing a large population of advisors, know that there's, I, I know some people like this term, but there's a lot of senior citizens there. And very often, senior citizens are not the best with technology. And they may need a little bit of guidance and help. So as an example, you may want to ask them, do you need help setting up online grocery shopping or delivery? 
right now, if you're a senior, again, this COVID-19 is particularly uh, aggressive uh, and those folks are particularly vulnerable to the disease. What a great way to offer some assistance and let people know you care by saying, hey, listen, I can help you set this up if you don't know how to use Amazon's Prime uh, delivery, Instacart or Peapod or whatever type of local delivery service you have or curbside pickup uh, here in Austin, Texas. Uh, HEB is a large grocery store chain. Uh, they offer what's called curbside pickup. So you can order online and then swing by the grocery store and not have to get out of your car. Uh, that's something that's really important for people at this time, right? So, but if if you've got clients who are in their 70s or you know even in the 60s, it's not always a safe assumption to assume that they know how to set that type of stuff up or that they're even aware that they can do that. Uh, so offer that up. Another thing you can uh, offer is, hey, do you need uh, uh, a list of stores that have senior-only hours? Many of the stores here in Austin have started offering, uh, I know Target, the national brand, uh, has been offering senior-only hours, like from 6 to 8 in the morning, only people 65 plus or whatever uh, are allowed in the store. And, and they're, they're being good about making sure that that's the case. So uh, that way, seniors are not coming in contact with younger folks who uh, may be a little more uh, risk tolerant in their interaction with the world. And, and they are much more likely to, to come in contact with the disease. Let's protect our seniors. So uh, make a list of the stores and send that out to your clients, letting them know, hey, these stores have senior hours, so take precautions. Um, and then you know, a last one here could be uh, ask them if they need help researching anything. Are there any questions that they have about what's going on in the world right now or, or, or concerns they have for themselves? It, again, we're generally, as people, somewhat proud. If you have a, we have a high level of pride and we don't always like to ask for help, we don't like to admit we have weakness, we don't like to admit that we don't know how to do something. So being forthcoming and a little more, uh, you know, putting putting people on the spot and almost <laughs> semi-politely demanding, let me help you. Uh, let, there is a lot of ways I can help you, but I need to know what you need. And and I'm happy to do it. It's In, in fact, it'll bring me great delight and I'll feel like I'm serving you, my clients, serving you, my advisors, or serving you, my team members, a little bit better if you show me some ways that I can help you and, and, and take these types of steps. Okay, so I hope you found this type of thing helpful. Uh, if there's questions, all right, so here we go. How can we help you? How can I individually, Mike Langford, help you with your, you and your business? Uh, how can Trulytics help you? Are there things that you feel you need help with? Uh, we're going to be doing our best to send out as, as much information as possible. Uh, we do have a couple of webinars coming up later this week. So if you're listening to this podcast um, before March 26, 2020, if you're listening to this episode, uh, we on March 26, 2020, we have two podcasts coming up, uh, one for uh, executives and, and practice management professionals at wealth management firms, and another for individual advisors on true continuity, um, how to use it. We're actually going to go through the platform, how to use it, how to get set up. Uh, so those are available to you if you go to truelytics.com and, and click on uh, the resources tab. You and go to the, or just go to blog.trulytics.com. You will see the the release for the True Continuity Solution. You can kind of read through what it does and how it works. If you're already a customer and you log in, you're going to see it there. Um, make sure you access it and get going. Uh, something really, really important you can do. Okay, uh, but like I said, if there's any specific things that we can do for you, let us know. We're going to be doing our best to get good resources to you. Uh, as always. My big ask for you, and this is a heartfelt one, is please share this podcast with other advisors, other members of your team. Let them know about this. Uh, let them know that we're here to help um, and in and, and any way that we can, because I think it's really important that we stick together during these types of times. Uh, and it can be very helpful to others. And you know, don't assume right that your, your peers know about this podcast. Don't assume that they know how to do emergency continuity or, or some of the things that are out there. Don't assume that they know how to fire up a uh, video and share it online with their clients, right? Reach out and help others. Okay. I hope you're doing well. Um, feel free to send me an email, mike at truelytics.com, or you can reach us at podcast at truelytics.com. Or as, like I said, always uh, at, at socials, we're on LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, Twitter, you name it. We're here for you. Okay. Uh, stay safe. 
Uh, and we'll talk to you next time on the Modern Financial Advisor Podcast. All right, see ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs>